Hey, hi guys, welcome to Cafe IO. Cafe IO में आपका स्वागत है. In the previous video, I've talked a lot about Rag architecture and different frameworks that you can use to build a Rag architecture, which is powered by LLM and OpenAI. And these frameworks are varieties, starting from LangChain to Llama Index. You can check about that in the previous video. In this video, we'll take a deeper dive and look at a very specific component, which is almost becoming essential these days. That's called a vector database. If you take a look at the screen, this is the image that I showed in the previous video. And uh, one important aspect of this conversation is the vector database, which can be Pinecone, VV8, Chroma, PG Vector, etc., etc. Now, a lot of people don't want to invest in a vector database upfront, and they want to do prototyping and POC. And uh, one of them, I found a really great alternative. While stumbling across some practical advice for RAG, uh, and this was presented at an InfoQ conference. What I have looked at is a library called Redis VL. And what this does is it uses Redis effectively as a cache, as an LLM cache. And this is very simple and it's very intuitive to look at. You have a Python library which you can install and then set up some indexes. And then use your code and your app ecosystem to quickly build the app and you can use Redis as the vector store that you want. And it can be used to, you know, power some searches, etc, etc. It has some smartness built into it, which we'll talk about in a minute. So this library is an MIT license. It is very recent. It was updated in last week. And Redis is probably going to support it in future. But right now, it says this is supported by Redis on good faith. Maybe they are just building the product so that they can include this in their core offering. And vector databases are increasingly becoming popular in recent years because of the ability to store and retrieve vectors. What I think about this is, as we have evolved from files to structured databases to unstructured databases to specialized databases like time series databases graph databases etc vector database is here to stay and as the conversation around ai gurus i think this is a database that will be required by almost everyone so let's take a deeper dive into the capabilities i'm just going to walk between the git repo and uh, you know the code i've tried to run it locally it's pretty much the same workflow not a lot of difference between you know the what Git has and what you'll find out the documentation etc. So I'm just using this as a base. So Redis VL has a lot of interesting features, index management where you can create your indexes in Redis UI if you want, or you can alternatively upload your files, YAMLs, Python code etc. Register them on Redis as you would normally do. There is a process which where uh, Redis VL integrates with OpenAI or GCP Word XAI or, or any kind of language model, base model, which can help you to vectorize it. And effectively, that's what this library does. And uh, you, they say that image support is coming soon and PS submit a PR for new vectorizers. As I said, library is new and evolving. And finally, the library provides interesting search capabilities. You can do searching on tagging, geographic numbers and you can do all more filters like full text search greater than less than etc there's also a nice abstraction which is semantic caching and it's a layer which is directly built into the redis vl which allows for caching of the generated output from llms like gpt and it can be stored and when a query comes they can be bounced off against that request and you can get a response from the cache instead of going to the base model itself and this can uh, you know increase the turnaround time and fundamentally reduce the cost of the llm that we are using in production yeah that's what uh, this is i'll just scan through what they have on git and move over to the library they're just showing how can you create an index you, you there'll be a more deeper version talking about here we'll go there quickly so this is something like a table where you have user a job credit score etc and that's the information you have you very quickly just initialize the index and connect to redis this is connecting to localhost in case you have a docker environment running you can 
run this in docker via a single command it's very straightforward and then you have a lot of querying option that's it that's all you needed to do really you can search for tag matches like is the user sam which is sam flag is it over 20 oh, sorry is it over 10 you can do geo location geo radius and as you can see this these are the query filters it suppose you can have multiple filter expressions there and you can finally have the uh, you know result generated from the index and you can get a query so what this query is effectively doing is uh, bouncing off against a vector and we'll take a look at what the vector are you have the fields that you have which we just created within the index number of results we are just limiting to three and the filter expression is what we just saw so we have we have created three different filters one numeric one geographic and one uh, text filter and uh, we have just combined using them logical expression and then this is a semantic cache uh, that I was talking about and this will probably result uh, give you a result which we'll see in a little more detail again what we're doing with cache is if the responses are cached for example you can store a result I think we'll start with this so you can do cache.store which is very simple what is the capital of France Paris this is what you get from LLM so before showing it or after showing it to your user you can store it in your cache and if you check before doing this what is the capital of France you would go empty you would check if you check after storing it cache.check what's the capital of France it will give you Paris and uh, there's also uh, a little bit of similarity score baked into it what really is the capital of France or what are the capital of France they have tried few variations and it works really fine so it uses a semantics a similarity which is cosine based and we'll talk about that really simple and intuitive also I, th I think two use cases arise from this one predominantly is ob obviously caching which can upgrade the performance that your app has and also being used as a vector store all right this is more of a getting started guide there's more deeper what do i say the deeper examples you can check out within the link i'm not going to cover that probably it will make the video too longer so this is what we looked at this is the data that we had and you just convert put some bytes for redis just these are some vectors and that's what we have created here and uh, this is how you register a vector you have defined a schema this can be stored as a yaml you can read the yaml in python or you can store it something like this after this you create a search index which is you define the index from the schema schema is the name of this variable that we created inside which json lives alternatively yaml also if you think about it you can actually connect this to a data store and iterate over them that's also very much possible this is just a simple example so if you have multiple json stored in like s3 buckets you can read them and iterate over them and see what data they have and uh, you can do indexing on a you know probably every single end of the day or something as an operation and then you're just connecting to index uh, create the index again this is just overwriting create this is using the cli uh, to do that and then finally when it does the indexing it gets all this information then you can load the data or load the in load the dictionaries basically and then fundamentally execute queries which is what we were trying to do in the previous example it was more filter based here you have return fields there's no filter text like we had previously but that's fine and you will get this kind of a return you can connect to some sort of an existing index also let's say you created multiple data stores multiple indexes and uh, for instance your system is indexing every single night and the next day you want to search from those indexes you can do that it also powers asynchronous searches there are classes to support that which you can also do the cli is also really powerful by the way you can go to the example gallery if you have stuck till here please subscribe to my channel i could really use it almost 90 percent of my viewers are not subscribed and i get really decent number of views every day so please do subscribe it will help this channel reach out to more people so there are two uh, good use cases which i saw one is a very standard q a with open ai i think almost everyone and everywhere you would see this it's just a simple question answer and powered by a vector database uh, using this 
and uh, the way you can use this as i talked previously using some filters and stuff like that this is a more complex design where it's connected with streamlit ui and it's built on a hotel recommendation engine there's this is offline data preparation and this is online survey so you do review data cleaning llm embedding embedding data result record with embedding and save it to redis this is what i was saying you could have a separate end of the day process and uh, for your enterprise applications or anything like that and then the serving part of it the consumption behavior the consumption part of it can be done on the uh, top side and then you can also check out this app i have not uh, tried to run this locally but i am guessing it should run pretty fine if i just give it a shot maybe i'll do a video if required shoot out that in the comments all right uh, that's what i wanted to talk about in this video thank you for staying tuned bye bye